everyone. I'm Alison and I'm in the Lookout Garden in the middle of Hyde Park. And I'm sitting by our pond, which I love. I really love it here. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be showing you how to do a bit of pond dipping and hopefully we'll catch lots of creatures. So a friend of mine's going to be joining me in a minute. But you probably don't this, think this looks much like a pond at the moment because it's very green, but I promise you it is. There's just a lot of plants growing on the top and they're called duckweed. But underneath, as you can see, there's lots of water. So what I've done is I've got some water in trays here and we are going to be using some nets like this to catch some things in the pond to see what creatures might be living in the water. And we're going to swish in the water like this turning our net so that we can see what we can find. Charlotte, do you want to come and join me? Okay. So shall we see who can catch the most creatures? Oh, that's easy. That's okay. I think I'm going to win. I'm going okay. to win. And oh, five, three, two, one, go! Don't stir up the pond too much though. Oh, look at that. You've got lots oh, of lovely. Oh, it's quite smelly. <laughs> I'm uh, going to put mine in my tray. I'm going to put some of my plants back because I won't be able to see what I've caught. I'm going to out, turning it over, make sure I've got all of the little ones that are at the bottom. Have I found something. something. What have you got? I found a leech. <gasps> oh, cool. Anyone hiding in here? Oh, I've got a hog now. Hog hats? Yeah. Great. <laughs> and I know it's a hog now. Because I've got the, my ID chart here. Look, my hog louse looks like that. It's got lots of legs. Fantastic. I've just found a ram's horn snail. Oh, I love those. Let me see. Lovely. Can you find someone there? Just to check that I'm right. Oh, yes, it's the first page. There That's it perfect. is. Perfect. Definitely ram's horn snail. I'm here because they love have holding on, hiding in the leaves of these. Who have we got hiding away? I thought that was something that it was a bud from the leaves. So this is a water soldier. I'm just having a look to see if anything interesting is hiding between the leaves. Lots and lots of leeches on here. Look at how many leeches, look at how fat this one is. Do you want to put one in the plug tray? Yeah, good. Ooh, juicy leech. Oh, careful because they're quite spiky those They plants. really are. I'll grab this one here. Wow, look what we've got in here. So here's that really big pond snail. Look, and we, if I lift it up really carefully, we can see there's its body inside. Oh, did you see that wiggle? That's one of the midge larvae. There it goes, look at that. Shall I see if I can make one of the leeches swim, like we were telling you? So I'm just going to be very gentle. See if he'll swim like a ribbon. There we go. Did you see that? He swims like a ribbon. Ooh. A 
And what else did we look at? Where's that rat-tailed maggot gone? I think he must be under here. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm trying to be gentle. He's got... Look at that. That's a rat-tailed maggot. You can see the tail of it as well. Yeah. You? And this is the larva of a hoverfly. I didn't know that. So when that grows up, it'll leave the pond as a fly. And so will these little, the wiggly, the wiggly midge pupa. They're also going to turn into flies and fly away. I can't see where they've gone now. One of my favourite things about leeches is that at night time they crawl out of the pond and they try to find the snails that you'd find in your garden and they drag them into the pond, drown them and eat them. Oh my goodness me! Ones like this? Yep, that's the one. So make sure the leeches don't see you, snail. Oh look, he's coming out of his shell. <laughs> that one might be a little bit too big for our leeches though. Yeah, he's quite big, isn't he? I've just found two creatures that we would normally find in the pond in the spring and the summer. But because it's autumn, they've already left the pond. And this one here, beautiful bronze eyes, is a newt. Can you see that? She's very beautiful. Looks a bit like velvet. So I found this one hiding under a log where it was nice and damp and dark and that's where it'll stay all winter before it comes back to the pond next spring. But in here, there's something even bigger and knoblier and there's a toad in here. So I'm going to put a little newt in here and I'm gonna, oh, there's another newt in here. Look who I've got here. Oh, so this is a girl, this one. I think we've got a girl and a boy here. I thought this one. There we go. There's two newts there. Oops, she fell over. There we go. Oh, the newt's just gone to say hello to who else is in here. And that is a toad. Look at him, he's big and knobbly. I'm gonna see if I can gently get him out, but I don't want to touch him too much. So I want to put him on a bit of this bark. Oh, he really wants to wriggle. There we go. Oh, he hopped off. <laughs> and the toad's gone back into the pond. Well, that was a lot of fun. I love looking at all the things in this tray. So we've had a close up look at some of them now and I can see all, all the leeches, the hog louse. Oh, there's lots of them. And there's some funny little tiny things also just swimming in the water. And there's a big rat tailed maggot and lots of snails, two different kinds of snails. And that's just at the end of the summer. It's nearly winter now and all these things will live in the pond all over winter. Even if it gets really cold and it freezes, they'll still be in there. They'll go to the bottom and into the mud, but they'll be there. And every time you see a pond in a park or a lake, it's not just our pond that has all these creatures. In every pond and in every lake in a park, there'll be some of these creatures living and people just don't realise it. They just think they're going to feed the ducks or they're going for a nice walk, but all these creatures live in the pond. So next time you're in a park and there's a pond or a lake, just imagine all the things that are living beneath it. Thanks for joining us and join us again soon.